An incredible article out this week details yet another way in which the Earth and Sun are alike. Giant swirls on the Sun, producing Rosby waves, acting in ways that are incredibly similar to weather patterns on Earth. The same way we see large cells alternating on Earth and how they spin in opposite directions. These swirls are only found along the solar equator, and they move opposite the solar rotation, unlike Earth, where the large cells are north and south of the equator and tend to track eastward. It is notable that the equatorial region of Earth does indeed flow westward, and that is the same direction as the flow of the cells on the Sun. On Earth, those tend to follow an upper-level pattern that often produces Rosby waves that are tremendously influential in terms of modification of short-term weather. Now, coming back to the Sun, this new study identified those Rosby waves associated with the large cells of circulation and that they were highly controlling of the short-term weather on the Sun. That would be sunspots, solar flares, etc. Let's watch these waves run through here. So we are discussing these counter-rotating cells, counter-rotating the sun. Well, what exactly is doing that rotation? Sunspots, coronal holes, plasma filaments? None. It's the smallest scale visible surface features on our star, the granules, those small patches all around the gorgeous sunspot captured here by Big Bear. It is these cells that seem to be doing the rotating. Watch how these little cells behave on smaller time scales, like a few dozen minutes as opposed to the 24 hours I usually show sped up to 10 or so seconds. This bubbling behavior is strikingly similar to the smaller Earth spot storms, the thundercloud anvils reaching for the sky, and ticking with that pulse we see on the one-minute cadence shots from Go 16. The similarities list between us and our star is growing almost unmanageable. If you have but one inquisitive bone in your body, I beg both eyes and ears take the bounty of this latest study and add it to the unmistakable signatures of similarity we've identified in the magnetic field structures and the largest storms on both spheres. Both links to those videos are below, or you could Google them. It is becoming clear that the relationship between Earth and Sun is much more complex than has been realized, and it's going to teach us a lot about both. Be safe, everyone.